Hello everyone, and uh, this was the Nokia N70 disassembly, and uh, this Nokia N70 was not really in a very good condition, as you can see. It has a lost uh, faceplate, it has a broken keypad, the keypad light was not working at all such a terrible housing as you can see uh, there's no sliding door anymore for the camera it should have that sliding door for the camera to be enabled but there's nothing now so what I'm gonna do was to show you the disassembly and uh, I will post uh, two more videos on uh, repairing this uh, Nokia N70 so Let's go. So the first thing you will do was to take off anything that is inside the phone that you can remove with your hands, like the battery and the SIM card. Remove that because it might interfere in our disassembly as we'll disassemble it at all. Now after you've done that, you can now leave the uh, back door or back case open so we will just put it aside now what you want to do was to pop in the four sides of the front face housing you can do this with your nails you can do this with a spudger but I mostly do it with my hands so what I do was just to put it in like this and snap it off there we go snap it off like that usually it might be stubborn but it will just um, give it a few tries and it will work just fine and as you can see the housing is falling apart this should not um, be left in here it should uh, stick in here like this but as you can see it did not do that well maybe because the adhesive was now old and it doesn't have any adhering capability anymore so when you remove that the keypad also uh, will be removed as you can see here so the faceplate was now removed and uh, you can now have access to your screen and the six torque screws now this torque screws should be removed uh, I don't know the exact size, but I usually feel around, so I select on my screwdriver bits and see if it fits. If it's too small, then that's not that. If it's too large, that's not that. So you'll usually find the right size, depending on how much bits you have for the torque screws. But essentially, uh, this is just like a very medium or not really medium-sized torque. It's fairly big it's not really that small it's just like the moderate size so what you want to do was to remove the N70 screws on a crisscross pattern so that the stress that the, the screws are holding will be evenly uh, put out so you want that to have it in there So again, you need six screws in here, so if you lost one, well, that could be a problem or that could be not, especially if it's just like a supporting screw, but as, uh, as you can, you need all of the screws so you'll have a better assembled phone. Now once you have that, I just continue to hold the keypad because this is uh, just like a sandwiched phone as you can see on the side it is sandwiched onto the housing the rear housing and the mid frame so when you let it go it will just flop up so what you want to do is to hold the, this piece down the mid frame and lift it out a little bit and kind of wiggle it out 
and remove it from the back panel. So you have the board, the screen, and the keypad here. Now you have this. This is called the bone or the, the mid-frame. Uh, this is what holds the phone in place. When you buy a housing, it does not contain this, so make sure you uh, uh, keep this because this is not supplied on the housing. So as you can see, this is the mid-frame, and it has some, most of the components for like the vibrator motor, the charger port right here it's basically all modular so you have this uh, I think this is a microphone right here and then there's some kind of antenna contacts the LED flash the IHS speaker or IHF I don't know but and this contacts right here is also for antenna so it also the soft touch power button right here it's just the button, so the button is actually on the board. So you want to keep this. Um, if you really want to further disassemble this phone, you also need to remove this. This is also removable. This is also a part of the housing. So if you have a replacement housing, then um, you need to remove this and replace it with the new ones that you have. So back into our board and screen and keypad. So when you lift this off, like this, when you lift this, make sure you don't like tear it out of the way. The screen has a ribbon cable on the top. What you want to do is to put a spudger in there and basically um, remove it. But I just do it with my nails. Uh, my nails is softer than plastic, so it will be a very good spudger or remover for this kind of work. There you go. So as you can see, this is now removed. So that's that. I just don't want to put it upside down because it might fall down. So this is the ribbon cable. And the keypad is still there, we're going to remove that later on. This was the uh, baseband gasket. Basically what it does, I think, was a grounding plate or like an interference shield. So it avoids interference with the circuit against all the signals that the phone makes and stuff. But yeah, this is like this weird have this kind of spikes thingy so you want to keep this it's also the support for the keypad also and this is the board itself the bare uh, motherboard of the Nokia N70 usually in a very official Nokia videos you'll see them wearing a gloves but as far as I know if you're not really like you know touching and creating so much static it won't hurt the phone I disassembled so many phones in my life that wearing a gloves isn't really necessary but for works that um, includes or involves like sharp objects I really have to wear gloves so but in this kind of work very easy I can just do it with my bare hands and just one screw bit that's all you need to disassemble this phone so yeah back in 2005 when this phone was released it is a very simple phone, yet, you know, the features are really uh, out of the ordinary from the phones back in the day. Most people still use very old phones, but in the N-series, it's very quite expensive. That's why they have this uh, newer features than the other phones will have. So, I might explain you some. This is the camera module. This was the contact for, I think, the flash and then some modules right here, the chips for like power regulation and uh, the system stuff. On the bottom you have your pop port or the proprietary port for Nokia. That's where you put your PC sync cable so that you can sync it with your laptop. This is the MMC reader a card slot. So this is where you put your memory card. So back in the day uh, not all phones use SD cards or micro SD cards. They still use some any other kinds of like cards. So in this case, 
Nokia uses MMC for the Nokia N70. The SIM card uh, contact and the battery contact terminals. On the top or on the front, you'll have most of the chipset right here. Uh, right, uh, remember this. I think right here, right here was the Texas Instruments OMAP 1710 which is the chipset of this Nokia phone right here I think is the clock battery which is soldered on so if it died it might be a lot of work for you to take it off but replacing it will be uh, needing a soldering iron and many chipsets of course many transistors and stuff so this is basically the whole brain of your Nokia N70 right on the front also the keypad contacts and on the top you'll have your front facing camera this is just a VGA video call camera by the way it's not very special at all uh, your display um, cable port right here and then some like power regulation for the display and your power button so very simple on the Kia cell phone board but for an n-series yeah it's much more complicated looking than other nokia uh simple uh series of phones but yeah so this is the whole board now let's go on to our screen so the way you remove your screen was basically when it was removed from the board you just lift it out so what you want to do was to push it back right here and it will just latch off like that or you can use a spudger to push it on this side but I won't dare to try it because I might crack it so I'll just let it uh, push it on the back some there this uh, screen was actually toast uh, it has heat damage and it just showed garbage on the screen it is like rainbow color so probably the elements inside the screen is already uh, toast so we need to replace it with a new screen and basically this is just a case nothing else then what you're left with is your keypad now just hold with a few snaps right here so you want to do is just to move it forward like this kind of uh, latch it off there we go and you wiggle it back and that's your UI or keypad so this is all the parts that you have for this phone so I hope this Nokia N70 disassembly video has been uh, you know very informative for you and I hope I can see you soon on to the next video where I will reset this phone because this phone is lock, uh, has a lock code on it and it's very fortunate that it has. So I will just retrieve the lock code later on and might explain some of the apps that can do it for you. So that's it for now and uh, let's uh, meet on the next vlog. So thank you. Goodbye.